This is Silver Coins, all struck in the year 1916 from around the world. You got the Kutch, princely state in India. Egypt. Regular old India. Switzerland. Finland as a duchy of the Russian Empire. Got your first year with the US Mercury and Dime. Some more Great Britain. Chile. Sweden. Norway. British West Africa. Looks like Kenya. Great settlements. It's like Malaysia and Singapore. Last year, the U.S. bar recorder. And of course, Franz Josef. Very affordable. Corona. And here he is. Empire of Austria, but he also appears. Actually, pardon me. Here he is, is the Empire of Emperor of Austria, and a little, little laurel on his head. It's Hungary. It's the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and of course, it's the last year he was alive in the middle of World War One. So we just got a big group of thirty-something more of these. Different conditions. All Austria. All 1916. So I'm just going to chuck them in there with everybody else. These are uh, medals awarded for diligence and bravery in World War I, we think, but you never know. So there's the Tsar. There's a much younger looking Franz Josef, so I'm surprised that that came from World War I. For bravery. These all came from an auction house I never dealt with before in Czechoslovakia called Pesek. I think they did a great job. I got these by UPS right to my door. Like a week and a half after the auction. I'm in the US, so they had to hustle to get that out to me. Much better. And the smudginess is just kind of toning, maybe. Anyway, these aren't worth very much, no matter what. Even the best condition, if you get these like in an MGC, a PCGS slab, MS-65 is probably about as high as they go. Maybe there's a 66. Still not more than 200 bucks. And of course, in this state, they were about eight bucks each. And chances are, if you sent these into NGC, instead of dropping them off on top of each other, you get some mint state somethings. So 20 of these, if you got, which we're gonna have here. I probably already had 20 in this pile, but if you get 20 Coronas, then you could get a 20 Corona gold coin, which would be just short of two tenths of an ounce, totally fine, actual gold, 
of weight. And that is comparable to like a 20 franc coin. Probably. They weren't making 20 mark coins at this point or any gold in Germany. But previous to the war, 1909, a 20 mark coin would be not much more than a 20 corona coin or a Swiss 20 franc coin or a French 20 franc coin. A British pound or a sovereign was more like a short quarter ounce and that's a lot more comparable to a US $5 coin.